So peripheral neuropathy is a condition characterized by painful numbness, tingling, burning um, of the feet and or hands. More people get neuropathy symptoms in their feet than in their hands, but it can affect both and you can have all four limbs affected. In the context of peripheral nerves, you're sort of dealing with a two-part problems, like a, a layer cake with two two layers. Very often with people who have peripheral neuropathy, there's some kind of a metabolic insult going on. That could be something like diabetes, hypothyroidism, maybe exposure to certain chemicals, chemotherapy for cancer. These kind of things can affect nerves. What happens is these nerves um, become swollen and entrapped in tight spaces where they used to fit. So in patients who have peripheral neuropathy, what I can do as a peripheral nerve, a pain-focused peripheral nerve surgeon, is examine them to see if they show signs that there are entrapment of these nerves at these tight spaces. If the patient shows evidence of compression or entrapment of nerves at certain locations that match up with where their clinical symptoms are, then they're a good candidate for nerve decompression surgery. It's not 100%. Some people can have the surgery and not be better, but um, there's really nothing else that offers an 80% cure rate um, besides surgery to decompress the nerves. If somebody um, has an exam and doesn't show signs of mechanical nerve compression, then they're obviously not a candidate for nerve decompression surgery.